Hi everyone, welcome. So today we are going to talk about my summer beauty essentials. Now, I know we're inside for COVID, but that doesn't mean you're not taking care of yourself, right? One day we will see the outside world again. And today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite summer beauty essentials to take care of yourself while you're inside, or if you decide to go on a walk or a picnic with somebody, you know, this stuff will be useful as well. Since most of you are here for hair, let's start there. So the one summer essential for me is the cleansing conditioner. I switch up my routine and wash my hair twice a week in the summer months, in these really hot, humid months. In Florida, it was spring and summer. Here, it's just summer in Georgia. But I switched to using cleansing conditioners. And I say, if you're in dry climate, the cleansing conditioner is probably your friend all year long. In these humid climates where it's just so humid that you're sweating more, I turn to this to wash my hair mid-week. And it makes all the difference in me retaining moisture and me not having tons of tangles and my scalp remaining happy despite all the sweat that's occurring thanks to the heat and humidity outside. I do have a video coming with my favorite cleansing conditioners. This is not my favorite, but this is definitely one of note. Then let's move on to body care because there's so much to talk about here. First and foremost, when these months roll around, I just want to look shiny and, and beautiful and bronzy, right? And so one of the things I do is in the shower, I always use coconut oil um, at the end of my routine. I'll link my shower routine, but I also, when I want to sheen, I'll apply more coconut oil to my dry skin and it will give my skin that bit of extra to make it like pop. And it doesn't take much at all. I love this particular one because it spreads really easy and quickly, but like, can you see the difference? Like this one is giving me sheen and like bronze goddess. And this one is still cute. Like my, my, my skin tone is beautiful, but the sheen off of this arm is different than this one. And all that takes is a bit of coconut oil guys, or olive oil is another alternative that I use. A bit of oil and you're good to go. I put my shea butter base creams away until like late fall again and I just use more coconut oil and I'm telling you that's all I need it's all I need out of life to give my skin that little bit of extra sheen and then as far as keeping my skin healthy and bronzy but healthy it comes to SPF for sure and at the end of my skincare I use SPF every day for my body I use black girl sunscreen this one you can get at Target now. This has been my go-to since I found it years ago. And I also use it when I exercise. I just slather this on my body, including my face, and it doesn't give me any kind of reactive acne issues. All the reason I don't use this on my face regularly is it has a sheen to it, like a shine to it. So I prefer to use this one for my body. And then for my face, I'm back to using the Elta MD UV Clear Sunscreen, but I'm using the tinted version now. My dermatologist, um, when I went in for my first facial, she ended it with this tinted version. And I was like, where have I been? Why haven't I been using the tinted version? The non-tinted version gives my skin like a slight white cast that goes away after a bit. But this one doesn't leave a white cast at all. It just, in my experience, tinted versions tend to leave more of a white cast. But for this one, for some reason, it doesn't. And... She explained to me, you know, why this was better for my acne prone skin. The clear is because it has um, niaminicide and other ingredients that are actually beneficial to the skin, which is why dermatologists recommend this. Um, but you can get this online. But between these two, my skin remains beautifully even and healthy, and I don't get a bunch of sun damage, which is one way that you prematurely age, right? And then a couple of other things to get that glow include makeup. Bronzer is my friend. Today I'm wearing the Minted Cosmetic Season 2 Duo. This is no longer available, that's why I brought this one out. The uh, Bobbi Brown is really, really nice bronzer as well. It's not too much, right? Like, I'm not going for contouring here at all. I'm just going for a bit more of a bronzed look because I'm not going to anybody's beach anytime soon, even though I want to, but people in Florida ruin that and vacationers ruin that for us all, but we don't have to talk about that. What this does is gives you a natural glow, like a natural bronzy look, which 
is what I'm going for. I just want to look sun-kissed, right? And this will help me do that. And then the other part of looking sun-kissed is your lip, right? I want a bit of shine and sheen with that. And I freaking adore lip gloss for that. My favorite lip gloss comes from Pop McGrath. It's not ex cheap at all. It's expensive. This one is Bronze Temptation. This is one of her Lust glosses. But I mean, she has different ones that are really, really nice. Um, but like any kind of lip color that gives you a bit of of shine and a bit of sparkle is so summer to me. It's so bronzy. And so that's what I look for to complete, you know, that really sun-kissed look. I mean, I'm looking like a goddess here, right? A chocolate goddess. And that's all I want out of all that I put on my body <laughs> at this time of year. And then we're in summer, your feet are out, right? It's too hot to be wearing boots and like clothes told shoes, right? And now, I can't go to nail salons, so I got a whole home pedicure system going, and this is really important. I have the replacement foot file on here because y'all don't need to see what it looked like. Keeping your feet looking beautiful and not dry and crusty and cracked, this is how you make it happen. And this is the best foot file I have ever used. It's very effective, very, very effective. It doesn't take much, and it comes with all these replacements, which I realize now that so many of my foot files never did, and it grosses me out now. But <laughs> but this is the perfect way to keep like my heels very, very soft. Like you guys know I'm a runner. And so normally I would get a pedicure every two to four weeks, but I'm not going to do that right now. And so this is keeping my feet in tip top shape. I do an at home pedicure, but this is really the MVP of it all. So I wanted to share this one. I got it off of Amazon, so I'll link it above and below. And then the other thing as far as like remaining fresh, so you guys know I switched to natural deodorant like a year or two ago. I don't even know, maybe last year, maybe the year before. But natural deodorants don't have antiperspirant, right? A lot of times. Um, they don't have aluminum, so you're gonna sweat like you normally would sweat. And usually throughout the year, that's absolutely fine. I don't sweat a whole lot, so it's fine. But in the summer, I don't want like a bunch of sweat stains everywhere I go. And so I adapted to using a powder and I already use powder um, when I'm running like between my thighs so that I don't end up with any kind of chafing or anything um, if I'm running like really long I'll put it under my pits too if you're a person who gets boob sweat another good thing to use for, <laughs> for that but I after putting on my deodorant I just put this under my arms too and this helps with the perspiration perspiration is that it, it like keeps it at bay a little and even if I am perspiring, I'm not getting these huge pit stains. Uh, and so this is the Gold Bond Ultimate Comfort Body Powder, and it doesn't have talc. It's important to not have talcum powder in your body powders. I can't like it, reiterate that enough. If you don't want to use this, cornstarch is another alternative I have used. The things that work when I'm running, I know will work otherwise, right? So a powder that doesn't have talc and cornstarch, both are really, really good ways to go. Uh, to help with sweat during the summer. And if you're a natural deodorant person, this is clutch. And last but not least, you wanna smell good. I'm a person who wears perfume at home. I just always like to smell good. Like when I, after I shower, I put on perfume, right? Um, I, I use oils that don't contain scent, so they're not getting in the way of my perfume. But right now my favorite perfume is definitely the Diptyque Philosicos. Some of you have already tried it and have told me what you thought in the comments below. But if you haven't, this is a great universal scent. So if you're male, I would not shy away from this one. It's expensive though. It's definitely over $100, closer to $200. But for me, this is like everything. This is not gonna give you, like this is more of a woodsy scent with beautiful overtones. It's just amazing. If I smell that man with this, can I tell you I just wanna eat him alive? Oh, but if I'm leaving the house, I'll put this on for sure. It's too expensive for me to be putting on around this house, but when I leave to go to my weekly Target or weekly Publix run, I put this on, it gives me the excuse, and it's just so good. Whatever your favorite fragrance is, definitely let me know in the comments box below because I'm always looking for something great. By the way, I like more sophisticated scents. I'm not too into like extra sweet, but if you have, a good one let me know in the comments below and also in the comments below share with me your summer essentials what are you doing in these COVID times now that it's summer now that we're back indoors <laughs> what are you doing to take care of yourself and until next time
Be well, be safe, and find a bit of joy in every single day. Bye.